Hey y'all, it's your girl Lacey Rhea, your host, and here's behind the scenes of the Dream to Reality Fashion Show. Hey y'all, it's your girl Lacey Rhea, and I'm back again with another banging video. And as you can see by the title, this will be my behind the scenes blog of getting ready for the dreams to reality fashion show that I will be hosting this evening. So y'all stay tuned for that right now. I'm about to do my hair. I just freshly washed my quick weave. Y'all. One thing, let me tell y'all something. You can keep it quickly for almost a month. If you just take proper care of it and you wash it, it is not hard to wash it. Look, my quick weave is still intact. You might have to glue back a couple of tracks, but y'all look, it's back fresh and healthy, voluminous, got its volume back. And now we're about to style it. You know, I got to do the day. I got to do my hair. Then we got to go to the mall and get my shoes. I got to do my makeup and I got to get ready. And then we're going to head to the fashion show. Y'all, but life really just been life in, you feel me? Your girl ain't been doing much. I know it's been a minute since I dropped a real video. I did drop a mukbang and see how you guys is feeling about that. And honestly, y'all did really well with the mukbang. A-M-S-A-R. A-M-S-R. A-R-S-M. Whatever, how we go. Um, Y'all actually did pretty well with showing love on there. So it's my little hair. It's like, like that. But you guys, because I pressed it. But you guys kind of really showed some love on there. So that might be a thing I might do on here with like different types of candies, fruits, anything that I can get my hands on because your girl loves some food. And I'll be doing mukbangs as well because I love cooking. So life been life and though, like real life been life and like, you know, it's been the good, it's been the bad. So yeah, and today is one of the good because your girl got her first hosting, her first official hosting. So let's get started because it's like almost 11. So I'm running behind because naturally I'm just a late person and I got to be at the menu about two o'clock and I still got to do my hair and I got to do my makeup and all of that. So we about to get straight into it. So y'all, the side of what I'm doing is really kind of simple being that I already did my quick weave. I really want to just try to do... I'm gonna try to mimic that two ponytails. Like when they have the two ponytails like this and then the hair down, I wanna do that with some crimp. So we about to try to mimic that with this quick weave, being that I have a quick weave and not a frontal. But if you ain't know, your girl be working magic with the hair, you feel me? You see that already just off of a little spray maybe? Clean. Okay. So let me tell y'all, I went to, um, no, let me tell y'all what led up to that. So, um, I went to Houston probably about like a month ago or whatever. And, um, I was planning on moving there, but I was going to do the whole, just drop everything and go to another state type of thing. Like that's what I was going to do. And, um. In the midst of that coming up, a whole lot of unfortunate situations just kept occurring. Like, y'all, y'all is not going to believe this. I'm at my mom's house, right? I'm visiting or whatever. And one, one night, one night, I, I just put my car in the back so it could feel safe. Because leading up to that, y'all, my car got egged. And I was trying to figure out, like, why would my car get egged? Like... Who over here egging cars? Like, ain't nobody looking for me. It, from what I know, ain't nobody looking for me. Or even though, you know, where I'm at or where my mom stay. Y'all, why did I go outside on Memorial Day, right? And this is a couple of days before um, I'm about to go to Houston. My steering wheel is gone. So I'm, I got the dog. Oh my God, y'all, we got a dog too. Like, I got to tell y'all about Cody. Like, it's so much, but... um. I got the dog. We about to go to the car. I'm about to go deposit, you know, some money in the bank. Shawty, what you drink? I'm about to go deposit some money and, you know, finish getting ready for me to leave for Houston. I go outside. My, my steering wheel is gone. So I'm sitting there in disbelief because, like, you niggas really came and took my, my, I probably can't say the N-word. 
y'all really came and took my steering wheel on Memorial Day. Like, I had plans that day. I was supposed to be outside that day. And, and y'all just ruined my whole, y'all, they ruined my whole day. That was so sad. I'm going to have to show y'all my car, like. Like, what is up with y'all and stealing in Detroit? Like, y'all, I hate Detroit. So, after that, I was just over it. Everybody like, just stay home and fix your car. No, because this is, this is, I felt like that was the devil trying to make me stay here. Honestly, like, no, like, so I still managed to leave. And y'all, that trip was just mm, crazy, crazy trip. Y'all, y'all see that? I don't want to wear my hair straight though, y'all. I honestly, I like side parts on me. I'm really not no middle part girl. So for me to have done this middle part, it's blowing me because my side part was eating the girls up. But Houston was crazy. First day I got to Houston was actually really lit. But y'all, why did my phone break at the pool party? So now I had no phone. My car was locked. Money was locked. Couldn't get in contact with nobody from home, which I really didn't care because I changed my phone number. <laughs> but it was still just the fact of like, dang, now I'm in Houston alone, you know, with a few couple of people. No money, no contacts, no nothing. So y'all, that, that trip right there, really one for the books. But I managed to really meet some lovely, lovely people. <laughs> Who made sure I was straight my whole time being there and took care of me and everything like that until I was able to get my card unlocked because me and I was in another state. And y'all, the crazy part is I have Michigan first. If you're from Michigan, you know what that is. If you're not, you don't know. That is a Michigan-based bank. So being that I have Michigan first, I'm like, bro, I can't do nothing in Houston with a Michigan first bank. Y'all don't have one. Y'all, it was crazy, but... Ended up working things out, was able to figure things out. And yeah, now I'm back. And I stayed there for almost like a month until I came back. I really only came back because I got a couple of jobs here. I got some business going on here for real. Um, I got one. I got one job that I don't really want to speak on yet. But when the time is right, best to leave, y'all will know or be one of the first ones to know. Okay. I have my host in here, another job here called The Vendetta. I'm a bottle girl, y'all. So, check out my Instagram to see what day I will be working if you want to come see your girl. After these jobs is done, oh, I'm leaving. I know everybody probably on my page like, girl, you said you was leaving. Like, no, y'all, like, dead, dead serious. I'm about to go. Like, I'm not staying here. <laughs> Give me about two months just to, you know, finish doing these little jobs that I have here. You know, stamping ground here real quick. You know, because y'all want to be a private chef. Like, that's really my main goal. Like, out of everything that I do, out of hair, out of bottle girl service, out of everything that I do, my main passion is to be a private chef. Like, I really want to travel the world and try different foods, make different foods. Y'all, I'm actually feeling this middle part right now and I'm irritated because I don't want to wear it. Because I know me, if I wear it, I'm not, I'm going to be irritated by the end of the night. I'm not going to want to have it in my head or while I'm there, I'm going to be irritated that I didn't do the style that I said I wanted to do. So, you know, since they even just, just go ahead and do the style, girl. I will be gone, I'll say by September because the one job I don't want to really tell y'all about yet I'm still trying to figure out the dates as far as how we're going to successfully, you know, go through with that job. If I got any supporters out in Houston, reach out because I'm down to make new friends and work for real. Like, I really just love, like, the Houston vibe, like, it's like so many entrepreneurs, so many vloggers, so many people that's into the, you know, same things that I'm into and that want to do what I want to do. So that's why I just feel like 
Houston is really the best fit for me and my brand and what I do and what I got going on instead of Detroit. Like, come on now, it's Detroit. Like, it's nothing really wrong with it. I love my hometown. I'm gonna always represent because I'm a real D girl. But at the end of the day, so I gotta give if I wanna be who I wanna be, you know? If I wanna become the woman that I see myself being, I have to change my surroundings. Like, every time I tell people, or like the whole time I was in Houston, I was just telling people like, yeah, they stole my steering wheel. Like, that's not something that's commonly heard, you know? Like, what? Well, that's some Detroit shit. Like, I mean, that's some Detroit stuff, y'all. I ask God to please help me stop cussing y'all because I cuss too much and it's not ladylike and I don't like that. I don't like that for me. I really need to stop. Y'all, I think this gonna come out cute. Watch, I'm gonna have this cute. Watch, I feel it. An uh, emotional roller coaster these last couple of months. But I thank God and I am grateful for where I am and where he is taking me. Like I have had so many wonderful opportunities throughout these couple of months and really off the strength of me, like no help, which I don't mind help. And that's why I'm trying to explain to people like it's nothing wrong with getting help or advice or anything. But the fact that I'm doing all of this at a young age by myself, for real, for real. I deserve a pat on my back. Like, even if I have to give it to myself or even if you have to give it to yourself, like, you truly, truly deserve that pat on the back because people is not going to rock with you or see your strengths until you become who you are or until you become your best self, I'll, I'll say. Like, people is not going to just be on a bandwagon just to be on it unless they see it being cool or you know they see a bunch of other people doing it then that's when they want to you know act like you know they've been rocking with you and in reality they haven't like and that's another thing like throughout the whole situation i've been going through with me being in another state and you know nearly being stranded and all of this and seeing that People I have broke my back to be there for, you know, not even care, you know, to help. So I really take a lot of things into consideration. And that's why I really don't even take, you know, what I've been through the last couple of months. Well, no, at first I was taking it to heart because y'all, I got a $40,000 car. Like, I got to show y'all my car. Like, for real, they really stole my car. Like, like who just steals stuff like that? Like, but I also thank God for being able to be in a position to fix things you know like somebody that i'll be talking to or getting advice from and he told me like because he do a lot for other people and we always talk and i said i you know i'm tired of just being a strong person or i'm tired like you know who's there for us who can we cry to who can we you know vent to or who can we go to for help and he was like honestly I would rather me be on this side of the fence than me be on the other side. And, you know, I, I understand that completely. Like, I'd rather, hold on, I'm back. Like, I'd rather be the one um, that's able and capable of helping others and um, than me being the one that, you know, needs the helping. And, you know, I honestly felt that of what he was saying, but it's still just like, dang, can, can I get a little support? You know, but in due time, like, I also learned that it's nothing wrong with you and that it's something or maybe something wrong with your environment. Like, I used to always think I was so different. Like, dang, I don't act like everybody else that I'm surrounded by or, you know, I don't get along with every other girl my age or yada, 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 but... It's not to say that it's something wrong with you. It's just to say that it may be something wrong with your environment or you're not in the right environment that fits you and who you are and your personality. Because I went to Houston. I'm going to keep bragging on Houston. I went to Houston and I felt like I found people similar to me. And it was like, 
oh wow like i didn't know that it was people like me that existed you know that's why i suggest and i tell everybody like if you can move please move from your hometown and especially detroit get up out of here like at least try it and if it's just not you know what best fits you then come back it's nothing wrong with having to come back and you know restarting and that's what i have to learn like it's okay to come back regroup go back you know and but don't get comfortable and that's what i'm i'm not getting comfortable baby i am going whether or not this one job come through fall through whatever baby by september uh, alexis will not be here you feel me but Y'all, I'm about to try to get this second ponytail or whatever, and then I'll be back to y'all once I start crimping my hair. Okay, y'all, so I finished crimping my hair, and this is the style. Y'all, I'm running behind, so I'm trying to rush. <laughs> but I'm just about to finish on my edges, y'all. I think it's cute, but as y'all can see, like, I did the two ponytails, and I crimped it. I'm trying to see if I want to keep the green showing or if I, or if I want to wrap some hair around it but y'all i'm trying to hurry up it's already 12 like y'all been up since 7 a.m like it don't make no sense no matter how how i try to be on time to anything Alexa's is just never on time but i can't be late to this i'm the host so you feel me so about to hurry up and do these edges Okay, period. And then we about to do my makeup because me going to the mall and trying to come back is not going to work. So I'm just going to semi-get ready here and do the rest at the venue because the designer has my top for today. I think I like my edges, y'all. But I'm going to get back to y'all once I get in the car and I go get my shoes because I got to rush. Bye. Okay, y'all. Uh, I just did my makeup and yeah, I'm nearly ready. Um, I just got my shoes. So that's what I'm about to put on and then I'm about to get ready and go to the venue because technically, really, kinda, I'm late. But it's okay because it don't start until four. So in real time, Alexis is doing great because I'm always late somewhere. Um, But no, y'all, I want to go practice and all that other good stuff with the mic and you know see how i sound how i look you know dabba 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 yes i got some air force ones y'all i've had some of these in like forever i see these what they call these crackheads oh, i got a pair of crackheads i needed these for work as well but i was like she i might as well wear them today too so and that's one thing about white shoes like bro be careful like try not to get them dirty and all that like but i want them like how they be wearing them with the loose shoe strings and shit like that see how that be you know maybe having them looking like this you know i'm gonna put these like uh, i hope i can fit them because i walked in like just give me these hopefully my feet ain't went up I wonder are they supposed to be super fitted or not like because they're a little super fitted but i mean maybe that's how they supposed to be or something but it don't matter because this is what we about to wear okay y'all my hair came out so cute like i was hoping and praying that it would and it is yeah yeah and y'all i know how to do my makeup now like yo girl been grilling you know what I mean? Everybody staring at me. For my vloggers, like, how do y'all feel about vlogging, like, in front of people? Like, I don't be liking it. But I feel like it's 2023. I feel like everybody know what we be doing when we be vlogging. You feel me? Like, it ain't no secret as to why I got my camera out in my face or why I'm, you know, recording stuff. Like, clearly, I'm making a video. Shoot. But I ain't gonna lie, y'all. 
I do not like when people walk up to me and ask me to be in their YouTube videos. I will say, like, that's something I don't, like, like doing or don't want to do because, like, when I was in Houston, I had somebody walk up on me and they wanted me to be a part of a skit. But, like, the skit that they wanted me to do would be going, would be going against my brand. And my friend was like, I think you should do it, but I don't want you to do the skit that they're asking you to do because, you know, that's messing with your brand. And I had to think about it. Like, I do have a reputation. Or I have a brand that I want to upkeep and, you know, uphold. And I don't want people thinking of me and looking at me in a different lighting because of a video, you know? Because a lot of people think half of this is on YouTube. It's real and it's not. But, um, uh, I ain't here to burst nobody but what they think is going on, but majority of the shit don't be real. Let me see how I look. I gotta get out. Yeah, these gonna do. These good. Now we got our kicks. I wanna show y'all. Now we got our kicks. Let's head to the venue. <laughs> Alright y'all, so I'm here now. And I'm waiting for everybody else, but this is the set. Yeah, I'm sorry, baby. I'm all your way. Thank you. But yeah, so everybody's still getting ready or whatever. We got our girl Rain. Say hey to my vlog. Hi. Hey. Yeah, so we're waiting for Jalen and everything like that right now. But as you can see, some of the models are already getting ready. And I have to finish putting my stuff together. Yeah, for how I want it. You look good. No, you're good everything to go it's like the models are coming in right now and everybody is practicing i'm about to actually go finish doing it right now hey girl but i just wanted to show y'all the set for now but oh this is cute i'm not dressed yet Jalen got my outfit and i'm wearing my bottom part but Jalen got my top so i'm just waiting for him to come with my top right now well i'll be back i the practice but i'll be back Hey y'all, so I heard Khadija. Say your last name again. Cisse. Cisse. I'm about to be out there like Cisse. Cisse. <laughs> okay y'all, so we about to get ready with the show. Yes sir. Behind the scenes, we got all our designers. Yeah. We got our photographer. Hey. You see, you see. Hey, we live, we live. Oh, we I gotta get that Y'all, y'all gotta get ready for this show because it's gonna be the show of the summer. Okay? Show of the motherfucking summer. Show of the summer, okay? But, Lex her vlog. Hey. hey. Big. We turning up the whole day. We lit. Everybody's still just getting set up right now for a... Uh, we're starting to get audience. The audience is coming. The audience is coming. It's filling up. It's filling up. It's filling up. They're coming. Here's y'all. God is with me because I got this. And we lit. So I'm excited. like 20 minutes until the show start and that's when we're gonna get active stay tuned okay so we got our next designer Dijon Hick with Beast Original 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 Beast Okay. <laughs> no, for real. I ain't gonna lie, that's weak. We're not gonna do that. 